Hi, everybody. This is President Rick Bailey from Northern New Mexico College. Today is Monday, April the 6th, and we are now returning from spring break. Today is our first day of classes in this online and virtual classroom format. So this is a big and challenging week for Northern New Mexico College. I want to give you an update on everything that has been going on, and I also want to share some inspirational stories about what the Northern team has done over these last few weeks. As you know from my previous updates, we have been working incredibly hard over the last few weeks to prepare for this week. For example, our business office bent over backwards working with HR to make sure that all of our employees were, were paid through this difficult time, including our hourly employees, and finding ways to keep them, to keep them engaged. Our IT team and our distance education team have been over backwards working with the faculty in a painstaking effort to make sure that we moved all of these classes into an online or virtual classroom format, and they have been remarkable. Our student services have been over backwards making sure that our students not only had the same level of support that they did when we were able to meet face-to-face, -face, but have actually gone beyond that to make sure that the services are even more present now, even though they're being offered in this virtual way. And through it all, our communications team has kept us all up to speed um, in a very, very simple, easy to use and easy to understand format. All of those things have been happening behind the scenes. And I know that, that I've shared with you a lot of that remarkable work. But let me also share some stories of some unsung heroes at Northern who are doing things that maybe you haven't heard of. As you know, we put the finishing touches the last few weeks on a student food pantry and clothing closet, and we had actually done our first order with the food depot. So right now we have non-perishable food items and diapers and other supplies that are in there. Well, Gwen Orona from our Office of Advisement and a few other volunteers are actually exploring ways to build bags for students so that very similar to what's happening with some supermarkets, there may be a way to distribute this food to students. And speaking of food, Dalian Valdez, our director of auxiliaries, she has worked with our cafeteria staff to make sure that the food that we had in the cafeteria is being distributed now in a partnership with Rio Arriba County to those who are less fortunate in our community. Northern Youth Project and Luciente, two of our superstar nonprofits in the region, they are actually using the El Rito campus up here, our student center here, as a food distribution hub so that they can actually create food packages to send out to the elderly, to school children, and others who are in need during this time. And Dr. Patricia Trujillo and Joaquin Gallegos, two of our Northern team members, are working with La Cosecha del Norte and some other farmers in the area to explore using Sostenga. Sostenga is the name of our farm that we have on our campus in Española, and they are exploring opportunities to grow vegetables that, again, will not only help our students, but help those in our community. Uh, as, as you probably know, we had raised money, uh, along with Judith Pepper, our major gifts officer, we had worked together to create something called the President's Eagle Fund. And thanks to the wonderful generosity of our donors, we were able not only to get the student food pantry and clothing closet off the ground, but about a month ago, when we started to see this crisis develop, we went out through our IT department and were able to purchase Google Chromebooks so that we can loan those out for free to students who don't have devices of their own as they navigate this very difficult crisis. And we've worked with our city of Española and Rio Riba County to identify all the free public Wi-Fi hotspots in our region so that students with a device can at least get to some of these places while still observing social distancing guidelines, and we'll be able to participate in classes in this online format. Our facilities team, when we saw the possibility of this crisis happening, they laid the floor down in our Eagle Sportsplex. They pushed back the bleachers just in case we need to use that gym as an alternate facility to help our hospitals and help our medical care providers um, if they become overwhelmed. So we've been thinking about doing everything that we can as an institution to make sure that those who are on the front line, our, our medical care, health care providers, have every support that they need from us. And 
we have an army of peer tutors who literally from their homes around the world are ready to help students and continue to provide the mentorship and the tutoring that will help them as they navigate this crisis. So this is the amazing work that's been going on from team members at Northern New Mexico College. Let me finish with this. Abraham Lincoln, in his first inaugural address, on the really on the eve of the Civil War, and as he saw that the country was literally breaking apart, he finished that speech with these words. Though passion may have strained, it must not break our bonds of affection. The mystic cords of memory stretching from every battlefield and patriot grave to every living heart and hearthstone all over this broad land will yet swell the chorus of the Union when again touched as surely they will be by the better angels of our nature. A dear friend this weekend reminded me that it's a popular interpretation almost all over the world that the Chinese word for crisis is actually comprised of two characters, one that signifies danger and the other that signifies opportunity. The stories I've shared with you today, the things that, that our Northern team members are doing, are living proof that they are responding to this crisis in the face of certain danger and are using that as an opportunity to summon the better angels of our nature to make a difference for those in our community. These are efforts that are worthy of our celebration. They are worthy of our praise, and they are indicative of who we are, not just as a college, but who we are as Northern New Mexicans. Let us, let us continue to move forward, and with the spirit of compassion, empathy, and a strong support for a culture of giving and a culture of caring. When we do that, there is no obstacle we can't overcome. From all of us at the college, we say muchísimas gracias, kunda woha, God bless you and everyone you love.